and he wanted to inquire from Krishna about the reason for their behavior. The mothers were actually more anxious to feed the older calves, although the new calves were present, because the older calves were expansions of Krishna. These surprising events were taking place by the manipulation of yoga maya. There are two mayas working under the direction of Krishna. Maha maya, the energy of the material world, and yoga maya, the energy of the spiritual world. These uncommon events were taking place because of the influence of yoga maya. From the very day on which Balaram stole, or the very day in which Brahma stole the calves and boys, Yoga Maya acted in such a way that the residents of Vrindavan, including even Lord Balaram, could not understand how Yoga Maya was working and causing such uncommon things to happen. But as Yoga Maya gradually acted, Balarama in particular was able to understand what was happening and therefore he inquired from Krishna. Krishna 
Therefore, Lord, Lord Krishna expanded himself to take the place of all of these cats and all the cowherd boys. Now nobody knew. Nobody knew that this had happened. Even Lord Balaram didn't know. Because the day in which Lord Brahma stole away all the cows and the coward boys, that was Lord Balaram's birthday, and Lord Balaram had not gone out to the forest. Lord Brahma's, Lord Balaram's mother had kept him back to, to dress him and decorate him for his birthday. But then, when uh, Lord Krishna took the place of all of these cows and cowherd boys, then uh, the affection which everyone felt for these cows and cowherd boys was much greater because they were all expansions of Krishna. So one day it happened that all of these cows and cowherd boys were on the hill of Govardhan. Oh, and uh, uh, over on the, uh, the other side, uh, uh, Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram, Lord Krishna, Balaram, and all the cowherd boys, they were, they were at the side of Govardhan Hill, and all the cows, the older cows, were on the Govardhan Hill itself. So when the cows saw the, the young calves, then the old cows became attractive and they began to run towards the calves. Now, the men who were taking care of the cows were a bit angry at first because they thought these cows are, you know, they have not been milked yet and if they're running like this then it, it, they'll lose all their milk and we won't be able to milk them. But when the, when the cows came to the calves, then the old men also came down the mountain, they came down over Dunhill, and they came to greet the cowherd boys. So the cowherd men, initially they were in a bad mood, but when they came to the young boys, then it became very affectionate to the young boys. And they would they embraced the young boys and they patted their heads and they gave them so much affection. So Balaram was surprised to see the men were so affectionate to these boys. And then he saw the older cows were very affectionate to the other to the young calves. But these calves were not so young, they had already grown up, they had already stopped being fed milk. These calves were already enough big enough to eat grass. They didn't need to drink the milk of their mother. 
And so look, Balaram was seeing all of this and he could understand this is something very, there's something strange here. And Balaram could understand that, that this is not the normal situation. So he's going to inquire from Lord Krishna. And Prabhupada is explaining that this is all the work of Yoga Maya. Right, there's two kinds of Maya, Maha Maya and Yoga Maya. Maha Maya is the Maya of the material world. And Yoga Maya is of the spiritual world. So Maha Maya covers up Krishna to reveal Krishna as some ordinary person. Just like if the demons like Kamsa, they want to kill Krishna. So this is your this is Mahamaya. The demons are always wanting to kill Krishna. They do not understand Krishna is God. They simply think Krishna is an ordinary. And the, but yoga maya, under yoga maya, the, the, this hangs over the devotees, the, the liberated souls, the residents of the spiritual world. They do not see Krishna as God. But they see Krishna in some kind of loving relationship. Just like the gopis think of Krishna as their lover. And Nanda and Yashoda, they think of Krishna as their child. And the cowherd boys like Sudam and Sri Dam and Subal, they think of Krishna as their friend. And then the servants like Ratak and Badra, they think of Krishna as their master. So this is Yoga Maya. They think of Krishna in some rasa. So here also Yoga Maya has acted uh, by covering up all the residents of Vrindavan. But although Krishna had expanded himself to take the place of all the cowherd boys and all the cats, the people of Vrindavan didn't know it. But at the same time, due to Yoga Maya, they have become more attached to these cows and more attached to these cowherd boys. And the reason why they become more attached is to show us that the person we love more than anyone is Krishna. You know, we have love for our family member, we have love for the relatives and different bodily affections. <coughs> so that love is based around the body. We identify with the body and we identify with the people in relation to our body. 
And we feel some affection. That is Mahamaya. But Yoga Maya, by Yoga Maya, we feel we have affection for Krishna. And this actually it's not it's not the family members which we love, but the person we actually love really the most is Krishna. But we are we are only seeing Krishna in the form of our family members. But here by Yoga Maya, the people of Vrindavan, they were seeing, they were thinking, these calves are our calves, and these cowherd boys are our cowherd boys. So, uh, Krishna consciousness is to bring us to the state of loving Krishna. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to say, Prem Punarto Maha, the goal of life is to develop love for God, Krishna. Uh, but in this amazing pastime, we see that all the people of Vrindavan, they love Krishna, they, should, they love Krishna without thinking that he's actually Krishna. The, the, the old cows love these calves, which are expansions of Krishna. And they love, they love these calves more than they love the young calves. Now, usually the cow will be more affectionate to the youngest calf. And will, the cow will feed in her milk to the young cow. But in this particular case, the cows wanted to give their milk for the older cow because it was the older cow was the expansion of Krishna. That this shows that the, the person, the object of our affection, the thing we, which we love more than anything else, is Krishna. But due to ignorance, we're placing our love on some material thing. We give love for the body, we show love for the body, we show love for the country. This is all illusion, this is a mahamaya. But when we develop love for Krishna, then this is yoga maya. This yoga maya is the energy, spiritual energy which allows us to develop a relationship, a loving relationship and Just like even the cows, they can experience this love of Krishna. So this is possible because cows are also spirit souls and these spirit souls are also part and parcel of Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Mami Vamsa Jiva Loke, Jiva Buddha Sanatana. That the living entities are my eternal fragmental parts. So cows are also spirit souls. 
And these very souls are also part and parcel of the Supreme Soul, Krishna. Lord Brahma, even Lord Brahma is a spirit soul, and he's also part and parcel of Krishna. Brahma. Huh? Although Brahma is the, the, the oldest of the demigods, he's the first living entity to take birth in the universe, but he's also a spirit soul. He wanted to understand more of the quality, the power of Krishna. But we will see that the power of Lord Krishna is far, far beyond his ability to understand. Because the power of Lord Krishna is inconceivable. Lord, even Lord Brahma cannot begin to understand the greatness. So this pastime was arranged for, for the education of Lord Brahma. And it allows also, it allowed for some wonderful pastimes of Lord Krishna with his devotees. Because Lord Brahma stole away these cows and cowherd boys for a period of one moment of his time. But one moment of Brahma's time is a year on this planet. So for one year, Lord Krishna was playing the part of all of the cowherd boys and all of these cats. And it was during this one year that all the uh, gopis were to be married. Now all the gopis wanted to marry Krishna. So it was arranged by Yoga Maya that during this one year, while Lord Krishna was expanded as all the cowherd boys, their marriage was arranged to all the gopis. And in this way, Lord Krishna was able to keep his promise to his gopis. So we see many purposes were served by this one pastime. Lord Krishna wanted to educate Lord Brahma about his actual powers, his inconceivable, the inconceivable nature of his power. And at the same time, Lord Krishna also wanted to enjoy and to fulfill the desires of all these gopis who desire to have him as their husband. So this pastime of the illusion of Lord Brahma is uh, something which is not always recognized, not always accepted. For example, the followers of Manvacharya, they don't like, they take this section out of the Bhagavata. <laughs> They say, no, Lord Brahma, he's our Adi Guru. He's a, the, or, the original spiritual master in our Sampadaya. He cannot be in any illusion. But this pastime is here, pages of Srila 
全民化唔到得。但係呢個試點國家同呢個人去反喺呢度，呢個消滅全國。But Madhvacharya and his followers they decided they 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 don't accept this message. Madhvacharya 同埋啲追隨者咧係唔接受呢一步。And see, Lord Brahma cannot be in any illusion. The illusion of Brahma, how is it possible? Lord Brahma is our Adi Guru. But we accept that Lord Krishna is the Supreme Lord, and if He wants to put His devotee into illusion, He can do it. Lord Brahma is a devotee, so He's under the control of Krishna. If Krishna wants to put him into illusion, what can we what can be done about him? Just like we say, if Krishna wants someone to live, nobody can kill him. If Krishna wants someone to die, nobody can save him. In the same way, if Lord Krishna wants to put his devotee into illusion, but we see also that Lord Brahma did not stay in illusion for long. He understood his mistake in trying to measure the greatness of Krishna. You cannot measure the greatness of the Supreme Lord. His powers are so unlimited, so extensive. So this pastime is arranged. Lord Krishna appears in this world, and in the course of his pastimes, he's performing, achieving many different purposes. We had the picking up of Govardhan Hill and the uh, rectifying the false pride of Indra. And you will see later on how Lord Shiva also is educated. Here we're seeing how Lord Brahma is being being put into proper position. So all the pastimes of Lord Krishna are very perfect and complete. So you have to understand these pastimes. Just like Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita. Janma karma chame devyam evam yo veti tam pratama. Takpadi ham puner janma naiti mamiti shor. The one who can understand my birth and activities, then upon giving up this body, he never has to take birth again. Then, the Bhagavad Gita says, "Anyone who has attained the stage of Brahma, Pastimes of Lord Krishna are all transcendental. They have nothing to do with the material world. But they are under the control of the yoga mind. The yoga mind herself is under the control of Krishna. Personification of Yoga Maya is Purnamasi. Purnamasi arranges for many different pastimes to take place in Vrindavan. We see Purnamasi is an elderly lady who all the people of Vrindavan respect. And she, under her arrangement, all the different pastimes of Krishna are orchestrated. 
而喺佢安排底下咧，所有必常啲消耗時光咧，就係咁樣發生。早處嗰啲花應該係藍色嘅啦，誒太陽應該幾時升起啦？佢安排一切啲資源都出嚟嘅咧。All everything is everything is under the control of Yoga Maya, and she arranges all of this simply for the pleasure of Krishna. 所以 Yoga Maya 咧全部都係佢誒佢安排啲事情咧係為咗非常嘅享樂。And our duty is also to give pleasure to Krishna. 我哋嘅職責咧亦都係為非常嘅享樂。This is we use our senses in the service of the Supreme Lord. We use our senses in the service of the Supreme Lord. We use our senses in the service of the Supreme Lord. We use our senses in the service of the Supreme Lord. We use our senses in the service of the Supreme Lord. We use our senses in the service of the Supreme Lord. We use our senses in the service of the Supreme Lord. We use our senses in the service of the Supreme Lord. We use our senses in the service of the Supreme Lord. We use our senses in the service of the Supreme Lord. We use our senses in the service of the Supreme Lord. 應該學會咧，點樣去將一切融喺 Krishna 嘅服務之中。So Yoga Maya is the spiritual potency of Krishna, which covers up the actual nature, so that we can have a more intimate, affectionate relationship. 所以 Yoga Maya 咧就係扮演呢個角色咧，係服務曬咗我哋咧，令到我哋誒呢個需要時光咧發展得更加親密。If we think of Krishna as God, then we will always be in, in awe and veneration and reverence. And Krishna prefers more intimate. You know, the Brahmanas reciting big Vedic hymns. That's all right, but he Krishna prefers Mother Yashoda chasing him round the court. 呢主啲婆羅門咧係帳篷好多嘅土文名義 Krishna 啦，但係 Krishna 喺寧願咧，佢係被翻咗入蘇格咧綁喺嗰個綁牆嗰個書院上。Hearing the Brahmanas recite the Vedic scriptures is not as pleasing to Krishna as Nanda Maharaj chastising him. 因為 Krishna 嚟聽呢婆羅門係係唱嗰啲偉大嘅詩歌咧，係比唔上嗰個快樂咧係係。Nanda Maharaj, Mother Shoda, all the people of Vrindavan, they don't think of Krishna as God. They don't care who Krishna is. They just love Krishna. Even people would say, your son must be a like God. He must be Narayana. But they would say, "Oh, you don't know our son. You don't know all the nonsense he does." So they can only think of Krishna as their child. So this is Yoga Maya, and this is perfection of religion. 因為就係呢班媽人嘅運作，亦都係關係非常之嘅關係。He was thinking, I stole them all away. He 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 was thinking, I stole
then he came and had a closer look, and then he Krishna revealed that all of these cows in Kaur boys were actually him. And then Krishna to face all the way, then they all disappeared again. All the cow boys and the cows who were actually Krishna, they all entered into the body of Krishna. And then Lord Brahma brought back all the cows. And they didn't remember anything. They just said, Oh, Krishna, where have you been? You took so long. Krishna had actually gone to get something, and that was when Lord Brahma had stolen all the cows and cows. So Lord Brahma brought them back, and then he said, Oh, Krishna, where have you been? So by Yoga Maya, they, they, they didn't know anything in that. Because Krishna is in the heart of everything. So he can control everyone's thinking. Especially his, his devotees, like these common boys. This what? This yoga maya. Except neophyte devotee. A, a, uh, affect. Affect. Anybody? Yeah. Affect. Does she affect someone's consciousness positively, since they're attracted to serving the Lord? Well, it depends to what extent. You know, how much, how much yoga maya will affect us will depend mm -hmm. on the purity mm -hmm. of the devotee. Mm -hmm. This uh, yoga maya generally covers up the, the pure devotees, those who are absorbed in the form of Krishna. And yoga maya is going to act in such a way that it increases the pleasure of Krishna, increases the allows for his pastime. So it's for the pleasure of Krishna that yoga maya acts. 
Usually, people taking part in Krishna's pastimes are all pilgrims. Just like the cowherd boys who are playing with Krishna, that they have performed pious activities for many lifetimes. And because they perform many pious things, therefore they will qualify to be with Krishna. So Yoga Maya is not, it's not really going to act on the name of it. But then in the Bhagavad Gita, in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna describes, he said, I am never manifest to the foolish and unintelligent. For them I am covered by Yoga Maya. Naham Prakasa Sarvatma, Yoga Maya Samavrita. So Krishna said he uses Yoga Maya to cover himself up from the foolish and then the unintelligent. So that use of the word yoga maya in that case indicates more maha maya, that maha maya is like one aspect of yoga maya. It's yoga maya acting in another way. It's acting in a way to So in the material world, she wouldn't be really acting in any way, right? Well, she's acting, but as maha maya. It's called Krishna's energy, so it's Yoga Maya, but it's acting to cover up people, to, to, to deny his spiritual opulence. But also, uh, you know, because Lord Krishna attracts everyone, uh -huh. and everything is his part, part and parcel, is there any possibility? that people get attracted to things which also drive them away from the Lord, also because those things are also part and parcel of the Lord. I mean, they are the energy of the Lord. Well, yes, well, well we can say everything is Krishna, everything is Krishna's energy. But not everybody knows. Not everybody accepts that this is Krishna's energy. Yeah, everything that we're attracted to opulence and we know this opulence is actually Krishna. But for most people they don't accept Krishna. They, they're not thinking this is Krishna's opulence. They're just thinking of their own enjoyment. For my pleasure, for me to enjoy. So, so this is Mahamaya. Most people are in Maya, right? Maya or Mahamaya, he said. So it's Krishna's energy. We say conditioned souls. We are conditioned by this Maya. We are conditioned in the thinking by the body. 